to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to the Biotri family. It is Monday, it is a fresh start and a new beginning. So you're going to be seeing lots of this mug this week, but today is Make It Monday, so we have some resin. You're going to get to see some resin unboxings, you're going to get to see what my partner Patsy sent me, as well as what we molded on my live last week, plus some new molds, like a dragon's head, 3D dragon's head. So let's just get on into it. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you join the Vibe Tribe family by hitting that little red subscribe button. If you like today's video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up as it does let me know I'm on the right track for creating content. If you don't like it, that's okay. Give a big old thumbs down. Don't bother me none. Thanks for the watch time. Thanks for helping me too. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when my squirrely videos upload. Let's get to molding, demolding, unboxing, all kinds. And yes, I did this outside. everyone how's it going how's your day so far hopefully it's a fantabulous one sherry here aka diamond art addiction and we have a guest i guess i'm just here for my looks that's all yeah <laughs> what mr addictions here i'm actually filming this part of make it <laughs> monday on saturday uh, as you got or friday today's friday as you guys know or if you don't know i've been going through a really really tough time and I would really like to go to the city to pick up some stuff for Purple Door Crafts and some stuff for the channel and for just some stuff that I need. And he was going in to pick up a tank and I was like, well, you know what? Let's just go to the city. It gets me out of town. It gets me away from all this and gives me a break. But when he drove here, he dropped off two Sophie and Toffee boxes. These are resin subscriptions. I get it monthly. I don't know. The one I opened last Monday or the other day in the hodgepodge, I think it was. I can't remember. Um, it was August month. So we're going to go to the right. We're going to start first and let's see what kind of goodies we got. This is all geared towards resin. I love the boxes, you guys. Like, I'm going to end up saving these boxes to keep resin stuff in. Probably the stuff that they, the stuff that comes in it. I don't know, but look at these boxes. The other one was purple. The other one was purple. Oh, I'm excited to see what's inside. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes. You guys get to see first. So this is July's. So obviously these came a little late to me. These came a little, oh, this is the succulents one. Oh, yes. oh. Okay. Okay, and I am signed up for the premium box that comes. This is the elves box. You can get just their basic monthly box, or you can get the premium box. And this month, the premium box comes with pebble stones, blue sand, and a hanging terrarium. <laughs> so that, oh, okay, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. So. That's it, totally that. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys. Oh, okay. Bruce for Ba, Sherry. Bruce for Ba. Oh, so it looks like, okay, so I'm just going to take everything out and we're just going to take a look at what we got. I am just 
beside myself right now, you guys. Like, this is going to be the coolest subscription to get. Like, it really is. So, premium add-ons. Okay, so, oh, I'm, I'm so confused right now. <laughs> okay, so we got two bags of pebbles because, you know, when you're doing succulents, you have pebbles. It looks like we have little miniatures. Oh, so, <laughs> this is so cute. We have a little house, a little wooden, what would be like a little wooden seat for a fairy. We got a seashell. So we got crystal gel. I wonder if this is, this is art gel. New, that is new. I'm not even familiar with this. Oh, so here's our UV resin. So I'm gonna have to get a UV light. Like just the light, because they do do send out some UV resin and I don't have the UV lamp that it can go under. So I am going to have to get one of those. And then art gel. Oh, so this is for the UV light as well. So this is definitely, I'm going to have to learn how this works, but that's okay. Like, that's why I wanted this subscription, you guys, because it's going to send things that I wouldn't normally think to send, you know, or it's like the other day after I opened up the dice box, I had people reaching out me on um, people who play dragons and dungeons are going to love those. That's a wicked box that you got. I was like, perfect. We're going to be making some dice or die. So for molds, we got succulent molds. Open sesame. So here are our molds. So just, this sits together, but that is to make our succulents. And then we have another one right here. These are gonna be fun little projects. Oh, look at the flowers, you guys. This is gonna be so much fun. And then this just goes over this. I'm wondering if that's like the shell to keep it clean or what. If you know why that there's two of these, because I'm not familiar with these little pieces. You got to remember, you guys, I've only been doing resin for a couple months. So this is all new to me. I'm just going to put these in this bag here. I will for make it Monday start. I will use, I'll, I'm going to make some dice. I am going to attempt to make something out of these and go from there. And then, oh, so we got for, we got orange, 10 grams of orange. We got 10 grams of forest green for UV resin. And we got 10 grams of gray. Plus we got the crystal art gel. So this is definitely gonna be fun, dried flowers. That is always exciting to see that. Here is the geranium. So this is what I would put together. Once I got everything in here designed and in, I close it up and you got yourself a little trinium and that's where like you know you'd have your little house with your little succulents that is so cool that is so cool now we got the blue sand 
that came as premium box add-on. So we've got the two pebbles. One came with it, one was premium, and the terrarium. And then we got air dry stone clay. I think this is what I'm going to make my... This is what I'm going to make my pots out of for the succulents. So this is going to be interesting. This is going to be so much fun. I cannot wait. And they do have a contest every month. So I definitely need to do something with the dice. So give me an idea, you guys. Comment an idea down below that I could do for their contest for their contest, for the August contest with the dice or die. Please give me some ideas where you think that our dice would win. So, and if our dice win, well, then we have a giveaway. So definitely give me some ideas down below, guys. Okay, let's get into the next box and see what goodies came in there. This is so exciting. I, I look forward to this. I uh, I spoke with uh, Patsy. We will also be signing up to the Disney box, but you only get that quarterly, every third month. So we will be signing up for the Disney box as well. Now, Mr. Addiction thought he would be funny. And he would write Sophie and Toilet on the, on the packaging. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Whoa. I had to, I had to come up with something creative. Well, I guess that's what friends do to each other. <laughs> yeah. Torment each other. <laughs> the L's box by Sophie and Toffee says premium because I did pay for the premium. I'm one of those people, it's like, go big or go home kind of thing. Are we ready, Kate? You guys are going to get to see before me. Oh, I got two. Okay, this is the exact same box, you guys. Exact same box. So I'm not going to open it because I know there are some resin friends out there. And I, if I do a, this could be a giveaway. This could be just extra items for me to use, you know, in... Oh, they gave you different flowers in this one. So this might just give me extra product. I'm not sure why I got two. I will have to contact the company and figure out why I received two. Uh, make sure there wasn't a mistake because I like to be honest. So you've gotten to see July and August. Let's come up with some ideas, you guys. Ideas. Ideas. So we can, what would be a cool idea for the dice? Plus I have the dice holder. What would be a cool idea that I could enter in for their August giveaway? Let me know. And then if we win, you guys are going to have a giveaway. We're going to have a giveaway to celebrate. Yeah. You know, I do giveaways anyway. So in the next clip, you guys, I am my business partner, Patsy, sent me a whole whack -a doodle of stuff for the resin business for Purple Door Crafts. In the next clip, you guys are gonna get to see what she sent because we got some wicked molds, awesome, awesome colors. We got lots of glow in the dark options. Hey, hey everyone, here we are for the next part. Unfortunately, I got a little cut off by a phone call. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, as I was gonna say, we've got this trolley here that I picked up and it is full of stuff that my business partner sent to me along with this mold which is the 3d dragon's head which you guys will get to see in a few minutes along with this mold this mold we have a pumpkin which is now that's going to be a glow in the dark pumpkin because i did use a shade of glow in the dark and then we got a few others that we're going to demold <coughs> so as it stands, I know we haven't done the official launch for Purple Door Crafts, but I will have the page linked below. Throughout the week, I am going to be adding photos, um, different colors. I'm actually creating swatches, as you can see by here. 
up to right here, 26. Sorry. Up to here. We have 31 shades of glow in the dark, you guys. 31 shades of glow in the dark. This is just regular colors I used last night and then I'm making so that way I'll explain as we kind of go unless it if the powder comes in a, like a little baggy say oh, I don't know but if it comes in a baggie I'm going to create swatches for you guys to see what each color looks like if it comes in a little mica powder tube I really don't need to swatch those you can see what they're going to look like so that is what we have been doing I will insert on the screen what these glow in the darks look like so that will be on the screen somewhere. She also sent me some more glitters. We have a lot of options for you guys. Tons of options. Like, I am gonna be doing a launch video sometime this week. I just wanna make sure I have everything, but throughout the week, you are going to see me adding photos under pinks, under purples, under blues, you know, etc., etc. So these are the glitters that she sent me. We have a beautiful Christmas red. We have a beautiful Christmas green. This, I love this blue. I think it would look good with this mermaid shimmer called Elsa. I think these two here would look really sharp in a mold. So I may make a piece just to see how it looks. Also, squirrel, while it's on my mind, you guys, on a go forward, my lives on Wednesday nights are going to be from 7 to 8 my time diamond painting. And then from 8 to 9, we're going to be doing resin pouring. So an hour of diamond painting, an hour of resin. You guys seem to always have so much fun when I do that. I have fun doing it. So we're just gonna keep rolling that way. We got another beautiful gold shimmer. This beautiful orange and neon yellow. We got a neon green. And then it looks like we got a little bit more of a chunky glitter. So pretty. So pretty. So those were the glitters that she had sent me. She also sent me a roll full of different brushes that I can use. Let me bring you guys back out. So a buttload of different brushes. This is gonna be perfect for when I start doing splatter. Yes, I will be doing splatter artwork. So we've got a beautiful roll of brushes. I have a lot of ideas. I'm gonna be, this week, I'm gonna be practicing free pouring. Well, Sherry, what is free pouring? Well, while you're asking, I will insert some photos on the screen of some free poured bowls that I would like to learn to make. You know, those are something that I am very interested in learning. It's probably gonna take me a little bit before I get to that level, only because, you know, like that takes practice and that takes resin. So that's not something that you want to really mess up on, if you guys know what I mean. Okay. So these are the glow in the darks. These are all sent from Patsy. So right here, these are powders. Like these are just powders that I've had left over. But we've got aqua glow, green glow, Blue glow, purple glow. And then we have these ones here. 
Oh, it looks like pear. I didn't seal it over all the way. Oh, you dumbass Murphy. Get a cloth, paper towel. See, this is where you guys, I don't edit my stuff. If something like this happens, it happens. You know, I am just a regular person making videos. I don't believe in things having to be perfect. So we have pear. We have cherry. And these are all in the swatches, little teddy bear swatches. What I will do is I will take a photo of the bear next to the powder in the light and then in the dark so you will know what each of these looks like in the daytime and at the nighttime. We got sky. Got orange, lemon, blue, we got lime, got mango, we got teal, and we got kiwi. So those are those colors for color. And they, like I said, I have already, I've already actually done some pieces with these. Can I remember which ones? I no. That's why I'm gonna go forward. These are all practice, like minus one. These have been just me filling molds so I can take photos for you guys. We have these glow in the darks here. I'm not gonna take them all out. I'm just gonna kind of, so you guys can see again, I will take the teddy bear that matches each jar. Take a photo in the day and then take a photo in the dark. That way you guys will see what each of these look like. So like during the day, it will look more like less like this here. And then at night, it will glow. So we know glow in the dark is going to be a popular thing. Everybody loves glow in the dark. Everybody loves glow in the dark. I love glow in the dark. And then she also sent me these here. I haven't I haven't done swatches for these yet. These here are more of a transparent. You're going to be able to see through these colors. So I'll just kind of give you guys a glimpse, like lemon and blueberry and lime and watermelon and caramel and black currant and cherry, kiwi, rose, clover. Tangerine. We got lavender. We got cream. And that looks like it is an opaque color. Forget me not. Peach. Violet. Mango. And coffee. So we have these things I will take swatches of so you guys will see exactly what these would look like in a piece. I, that is why we have not done our launch yet, you guys. Like, yes, you can order pieces from us. Absolutely, you can order from us. Please message the page down below. I, either myself or Patsy, will get back to you. Okay, so she also sent dried flowers, dried roses, and you guys, these smell phenomenal that is something that I haven't done yet that I am going to work on this week is doing working with dried flowers she sent me some more of the mer this is what I call mermaid shimmer it's absolutely gorgeous it doesn't sink to the bottom of the resin it kind of just floats within the resin Whereas these here are a little bit more of a thicker glitter, they would sink to the bottom of the glitter, which is sometimes okay because you kind of get that two-tone effect. Depending on what you're using, it can still be pretty. I love the Mermaid Shimmer. Oh, the Mermaid Shimmer is probably one of my favorites for a chunkier glitter. And then she sent a bunch of these things here. Again, these would float within your piece. This is stars and triangles in it. This would be like what you people would use for nail art. I even have the proper thing for picking these up and placing these in the resin. 
So we got some more of the moons, more shapes. And then we got one more. Me and Patsy both agreed we wanted to go into this with lots of options for you guys. So now we've got the little stars in different colors. We've got the hearts. We've got butterflies in all kinds of different colors. We've got little flowers. And then we got some more butterflies. Oh, thank you. Sorry about that rattling noise, you guys. My fridge is going on the fritz. It really is like it's about to me sippy sippy. And then we've got these ones here. Now, these are going to be like one per project. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, if I make one with this, I won't have another one of those, as you can see. But I do have lots of other dried flowers. So if you see one in here, it goes like one through six, seven through 12. Just let me know and we will go from there. So that is those. We've got some Halloween confetti that will be going in pieces, pumpkins, spiders, and bats. I also have, or sorry, spiders and webs. I have the bats and the witch's hat. So lots of fun things coming for Halloween. We got some more glitter. And unfortunately, one exploded in here, so I'm going to have to take it outside and go from there. These are something like what I use to paint. Like this here, I painted this and then poured black over it. So I will be doing that for some pieces. If you require me to paint a piece, like you want a painted piece with the black on it, it will be a little bit longer of a processing time because it does take a little bit longer. Right now we're looking at from the moment you order to being shipped anywhere from 10 to 14 days because we do have a few orders so you plus still trying to launch the page plus i still have real life kind of stuff you guys get it we've got which is like the gold leaf this i'm looking forward to using i've already got ideas for it and this isn't all the gold leaf that we have you guys That looks really sharp when you just mix it in with like I say a glitter, a clear glitter and throw it in a piece and it kind of floats in the middle of it. That'll look really sharp. And then we got this and I mean, unfortunately due to shipping, it happens. This bottle right there kind of broke. And again, I will be opening this outside, but we've got like little, little balls and little stars and all kinds of little doodads in this as well. Looks like we even got, oh yeah, hearts. All kinds. So lots and lots of options. Sorry, this one drawer did not go quite in right. And we will be saving the best for last without me doing the demolding. I'm excited to see the 3D dragon's head. We have real stones, you guys. We've got clear quartz. believe this is more of an adventuring if I'm wrong correct me down in the, in the chat there we have amethyst and these would be good for your 3d molds right where I could do a layer of stone layer of resin layer of stone so that's what these would be good for. We've got clear quartz. 
And we got Moonstone. These I am definitely going to be trying out in free pour. Carnelian. Fluorite. And Tiger's Eye. So, very excited to have those. We are almost through this, you guys. Some more mica powders, which will last a long time. We got yellow gold, and these are on big bottles. We've got blush pink. Cinder rose. These will come in handy for when I do candles as well. That will be coming probably. Candles will be down, I'm thinking next year. That will be, and this one, I am not really able to, oh, maybe I can. It's like rad, is it, is it pistachio radishio? We had to double bag it because unfortunately it did leak. That is a beautiful like coppery color. So remember I was saying about the gold leaf. We've got gold, silver, and this one is copper. So we've got lots and lots of gold leaf. We have this one here. It's sticking to my thumb. It's sticking to my thumb. Fragile, please handle with care. This stuff is, is very, very fragile. You gotta be very careful using it. And it looks like we got a cloth. Nope, these are more, yeah, okay. They're like the other ones there. So the next one I'm about to show you, I've got to be very, very careful with it. We've got these here. The foils, where basically I take it to a piece and kind of just pull it off. So we've got rose gold yellow gold and silver oops so we do have these as well I've got to be very careful with them so you guys have so many options and that is what we wanted so I'm gonna have a very busy week this week you guys if I'm not able to video chat or message back please understand that we are trying to get this launched and it's really hard to get things. I love talking to you guys. and That's why I'm so far behind because I love talking to you guys. Okay, you guys, so that is everything that my partner sent us. Here are some of the smaller molds that she sent me. You guys seen me pour these on Wednesday. I've got Francine's phone stand here who was like ready to come out. So we got a few things to demold, and this is the fun part right now. Like we've got lots to demold. So we've got the 3D skull. We've got the 3D dragon's head, which is brand new. I don't even know what that looks like. So let's 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 take some of the smaller ones. She sent me. 
I uh, had leftover resin. Oh, this one overflowed, so I have to shave it down. These are glow in the dark angel wings. This I can cut right off. I have the silver ones you guys seen me make as well. So that was just from overflow. That is easily fixed. So I'll set that with that. Um, the only thing in here that is spoken for is the phone stand. So if you see anything you like, please message Purple Door Crafts. Do not message me. I, that way things don't get lost. And, you know, Patsy's able to help keep track with me because we all know I'm squirrely. So this is a new set of angel wings. They might be the same as I had, but they are definitely similar. Again, this is a different shade of glow in the dark. Like this stuff here that you're seeing, I can take scissors and trim it. I also have a file to file down. Okay, so this is another set of wings, but it is a keychain. This is glow in the dark as well. So that would be the glow in the dark keychains. So what I'm gonna do, you guys, is I am going to take the pumpkin out and then I'm going to pause because I'm gonna let these kind of get going in the light and then I'm going to take a picture of them in the dark and then I'll insert it in the next clip. So this is one of the pumpkin molds that she sent. This is glow in the dark as well. It is so cute. Oh, hey you guys, I'm gonna pause and then when I come back, We'll begin with the bigger pieces. Well, we can do these ones here right now. These are from Cotton Candy Molds. And these are what I make for cover minder trays. I will put magnets on the back of them. They can use them for drills. I have lots of these. So these you guys will see in the shop or they may be sent to Patreons. This one does not want to seem to want to let go. Okay, we're going to let this one sit for a few more minutes. But there's the heart. In the next picture, I will, in the next clip, you guys will demold these. I'll show you some of the smaller pieces. And then today's Make It Monday will be done. We'll see you in a few. Okay, and we're back. So as I was saying, what I will do is on the screen somewhere, I will insert the before picture and then... The after picture will be probably somewhere beside it. But, and that was only a few minutes sitting out in the light. Like, Gold and Dark has to kind of charge. So, this is going to be fun. So, I got the diamond out of the mold. It was just being stubborn. Like I said, these are ones that I would put magnets on for trash drills for you guys. They will go in my little tub which I will show you guys at the end of the video. We're going to save the three new molds until the end, the dragon's head and the two green ones sitting over there. Those will be done last. So I had some leftover from doing Francine's phone stand. So we did another moon child. You got that lighty pinky color there and then there is where your purple is that is pretty very very pretty i've got quite a few of those that are going to be in inventory and we'll set the mold aside next we have a triple goddess altar trinket tray look this is a top triple goddess trinket tray and I do have the Triple Goddess altar, tr altar piece as well. So. That turned out quite pretty. It's not showing the same, 
on camera as I'm seeing it. It looks more coppery in person than on camera. Camera looks brown. So I will try to take a photo of it and insert it on the screen to see if we see any difference. So that is the Triple Goddess Trinkle Tray. And I just made this just because I wanted to do some swatches of colors. So if you're gonna do some swatches of colors, you might as well make something. Next, we will do the coffin trinket tray. All I did was a pink glow-in-the-dark border, and then I added in mermaid shimmer. That was it. Oh, I love that. So this here will glow. So again, what I'll do is I will put it in the window. Actually, I'll go do that right now. And then I will be right back. And no, you know, forget it. We'll just wait. No, we're not pausing. We'll never we get this done. And that's going to be a two hour video. Squirrel. All right, let's take a look at Francine's phone stand. We poured this last Wednesday during my live. So here is the stand part. So you got your pink there, and then you get your purpley color there. That is so pretty. Francine, if you're watching this, I hope that you like it. Please let me know. And then we will, I know you wanted to order some more. We will get that and get it done so I can get this shipped out to you. That turned out really pretty. What you're seeing there is just mica dots. Sometimes that can happen. Wow. So basically how it works is you set your stand in. Got a phone stand. I have the crystal, I have the hands of hand, and I have the pot leaf. So, Francine, that is your phone stand. I do apologize about those little dots. If you don't like those little dots, please just let me know and I will re pour it for you. Okay, let's get into the 3Ds, you guys. We've got four more molds to go. All right, let's do the skull. Holy, this is a lot of glow in the dark. Wow. This whole bottom layer, that is all glow in the dark. I will go around and I will file down any sharp edges. So again, I will put this in the window. That is gorgeous. That turned out very well. That I am very happy with. So again, I will stick it in the window so you guys can get a, what it looks like. Okay, you guys, this is my first time seeing this dragon's head. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, you guys. This is combination of three colors. I love the dragon's head. Wow. And the way I did it, there is so much more or less bubbling. Wow. I am just ecstatic at how that looks.
So if you are interested in the dragon's head, please just again, face message down in the Facebook group down there, Purple Door Crafts. We are trying to keep all orders in one place. Next, we have the sword, dagger, Again, this is more of a copper. It was you. I used copper, cherry, a little bit of white, and I had a little bit of black left over. So I mixed it in, and it looks like I said again. I will take a picture side by side, like on the screen here, so you guys can see what I'm seeing and not the brown look. Oh, so many possibilities to do with this dagger. Lots of different combinations. I could just. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, we have the dagger. And last but not least, this one I hand-painted first, and then I poured black over it, so I'm hoping it turned out. I'm not saying what it is, because I want to see if you can see what it is. Okay. You can definitely make out what it is. I did this at like 1.30 in the morning. As you can tell, it is definitely pot leaves. She's smoking a joint and it's in the shape of the moon. This is definitely a fun way of doing molds. So this is the mold. And during the week, what I'm gonna start doing on the Facebook page is if I do a mold, I am going to demold it. Not everything is going to be on Make It Monday. I am gonna start doing more demoldings on the Facebook page. This channel is for diamond painting, so we will have like the Make It Monday, but I think what we're gonna make Make It Monday is demolding of customer's orders. So you will see some demolding on the Facebook page so we get a little more activity on there. Lots coming down the pipes. Like I said, I wasn't planning on launching until spring of 2021. So it is going to still take time. I am the kind of person I want to make sure everything is, you know, you guys have lots of options that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so that is this week's Make It Monday. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I love this, how you just, and like the more it turns, the colors it changes. So I like I said, I will be doing at least a daily demold on the Facebook page. So definitely keep an eye on it. You never know what might pop up on there. We might do a pop-up auction where we'll auction off some pieces. So I'll give you guys a quick peek at some of the smaller pieces that I call like when I have leftover resin. This is what I do with the leftover resin. Like I said, I have a lot of moon childs. We have the moon childs. I think that might work for them. So yeah, we got two, four. We got six different moon childs. This here is like a little crystal dish. This is a squirrel mold that I got, but I'm still trying to figure it out because the ears always come out missing a piece. So I do have a squirrel mold. As you can see, that one's back here. So I'm trying to figure out how to get those so they don't do that. And then I will have a squirrel mold. If you guys have seen a squirrel mold anywhere, oh dear, please let me know. Okay, next let's go for our little diamonds. 
this diamond glows in the dark. I have lots of these. Diamond, so I'll just create the diamond. These definitely are ones that I will be. Look at this one here, you guys. Halloween hearts. These are the hearts. Oh, there's another diamond. I said I will not waste product. I just won't. Like we've got quite a few of the little hearts. A couple of the skulls with roses. This one here was just me testing out. That's definitely cute. Oh, we have another, two more diamonds. So as you can definitely see, I will not waste. I have Mickey Mouse, another Mickey Mouse. I might just turn these into regular mags and magnets. We have a hands a hand. We have a bat that I was trying out in a mold that Patsy had sent me. We have another of the cupcake. I just look, oh, another heart, another heart. <laughs> Here is another diamond crystal that I'm gonna turn into, you know, Cover minders that will hold your trash drills. <laughs> Definitely. I've got a few peaches. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to send to red. So we got this peach. We got this peach. And the one I just did in Glow in the Dark that I do not know where it's at. But yeah, we got, we got the peaches. We've got Voodoo Guy. These are actually gonna be, these are actually shaker molds, you guys, which I will be where I'll be putting fluid in and they shake up with dust or like fairy dust or whatever you wanna call it. Here's another way of doing the wings. If you would prefer your wings like this, just let me know. When you reach out to me, I can let you guys know that each mold, like say this mold here, comes with three choices of colors, either mica powder or fine glitter. If we're getting into the chunky glitters, uh, the glow in the dark, or you want more than three, then it, we are gonna add a little bit to the cost just because things aren't exactly cheap. But that is something we will, event, we will have our price lists up this, hopefully this week. Oh, look at that diamond one. I have lots of little acorns, I'm not too sure. These acorns went black and orange then kind of got a silver tint to them so we got acorns those are our thing items that i will turn into cover minders so now we're going to pull all the acorns so you can definitely see i am going to have cover minders some will be bigger than others um we've got violet brass We've got black and white. And then these ones here all glow in the dark, these acorns. Yeah, there's two pink glow in the dark acorns. I know Cheryl Cox was, I got three pink glow in the dark acorns. Got another pink glow in the dark acorn. And it crawls through the acorns. If you guys have made it this long, type down what your favorite D mold was today. Was it the dragon's head, the coffin, you know, 
the 3D head. So, or, no, the acorns aren't going there. So we have lots of acorns. Like I said, you guys, I mean, I don't need to go through every piece. We have witches. We have teddy bears. Witch on her broomstick. This teddy bear glows in the dark. So, you know, we got unicorn heads. Lots of unicorn heads. These are all in here because I need to add magnets to them, which will be coming up very, very soon. And then we also have the lighter and the pipe. So for my pot smoking friends, these would be cute little cover minders. Oh, acorn. Man, I did a lot of acorns. I tell you, you guys, we got acorns coming out the lot. We have turtles. Little itty bitty roses. So yeah, we have turtles. Oh, more unicorn heads. This turned out kind of cool where it's like green glitter. But it looks like that for the rest of it. Here's another little tray. Even these here could be used as trash. I think that would be the cutest little trash drill cover minder. Same with the peaches. They could be... Say we got turtles. Lots of turtles. We got little itty bitty baby bears. These would just be like cute little cover minders. So we got the little itty bitty baby bears. We got hearts. More unicorn heads. And then we're gonna get into our diamonds. I don't know where I was putting all the unicorn heads, but. Oh, well, it doesn't matter because they're all going back in here anyway because I'm not, I got family coming over. So this is kind of cute. And then we've got diamonds. These two do not glow in the dark. Neither does that little guy or that little guy, but all of these do. These are all glow in the dark diamonds. So, and then we, oh, we got another little glow in the dark diamond. And then I've got like little itty bitty, these are what I would use for shakers. They're like little roses. And then I've got itty bitty hearts. So if you made it this far, drop down what your favorite piece is. If you see something that you would like me to make for you, please, please, please contact that Facebook group or Facebook page, Purple Door Crafts. That is where we're trying to keep everything. Throughout the week, I am going to be posting as much as I can. Oh, so don't forget, I am, oh, you already would have seen them. I'm gonna go take, right now, I'm gonna go take photos of the skull so and the coffin so we can see what it looks like glow in the dark but you've already seen it if you made this far on that note i'm gonna bid thee all farewell stay positive live blessed and until the next time many many blessings hashtag vibe tribe bye guys mm -hmm.